Good morning, Leo. Hi, Kara. Can you hear me? How are you? Uh, fine, thanks. Good. What about you? I'm fine, thank you. But I can, like I can barely day. hear you. Okay, let me let me check. Okay. Leo, do you think you're ready or you're working on, on it? Uh, I don't know. Did you hear me better? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> let, me, let me change my... Okay. okay. Good morning, Uriel. Hi, girl. Good morning. Good morning, Janel. Leo is having some Hello. trouble with the audio. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. We hope he can fix it. Yes. Let's let's see. Uriel, how are you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. What about you? I'm fine too, thank you. Glad to hear that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Leo, is it better now? Uh, I believe. Uh, well, I think so. Okay. Well, uh, just want to say really quick, Leo, we were working last class with the order of adjectives. Okay. Uriel already knows about this. And we were working with the pronouns one and once. I'm just telling you in case you want to go see the video for that class. Okay, I'm gonna upload that and the video for this class later. Okay. We right, also okay. We also um, started with this uh, part of the lesson: how to to ask 
questions in a polite way, how to make it more formal. And for this, we were discussing how can you make visitors to your home feel welcome? What do you do or what do you say? What do you offer them? And well, that's what we checked. Okay. Uh, polite questions, formal questions, how to answer to them. We did this exercise, right, Uriel? Oh, uh, yes. And we're gonna finish this page with number three. Yeah. Okay. So let's continue working with this. Okay. We're gonna listen to some conversations between roommates. You have to pay attention to what is the problem in each conversation. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm yep. ready. Okay. Page 81. Three. Listening and strategies. Could you do me a favor? Okay, can you hear it? Yep. Yeah, we're going to hear it. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> favor. A. Listen to four conversations between roommates. What's the problem in each case? One. Hey, Bill, thanks for cleaning the apartment. Everything looks great. The kitchen, the living room, they look so clean. Oh, sure, no problem. Wow, you even did the laundry and took out the trash. Well, thanks. I mean, the place was a mess, I have to say. Yeah, it looks better now, huh? And I put those awful old cushions in the trash. You know, the smelly ones. Oh, and that big old clock, too. It didn't work. Wow, a big spring cleaning. Oh, wait, which cushions do you mean? Those small round ones. They were old and... Oh, no. I got those from my grandma when I was little. Really? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Uh, well, uh, I can go and get them from the trash, okay? But can I ask you a favor? Two. Hey, Sally. My parents are coming over this afternoon. They want to see the new furniture in our living room. I told them we have a new sofa and armchairs and everything. Oh, okay. No problem. Yeah, but the whole place is a bit of a mess. Like, there's stuff all over the floor. Whose books and papers are these? Oh, they're mine. Sorry, I'm studying for a test tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well... Three. So... Are Jack and Bill coming over tonight to watch the game? Yeah, I'm making a big pot of spaghetti and meatballs. Mmm, it smells good. And I want to make some garlic bread, and we need some salad. We don't have any. Oh, that's okay. We don't have to have salad. Do we have any sodas? Um, yeah. What time is it? It's 6.30. Already? Well, could you do me a favor? Sure. What is it? Four. So, what time is it now? Let's see. It's about 20 after four. 20 after four? Uh-oh. I'm running late. I have to catch a train at five. So, do you have everything for your trip? Yeah, but I can't find my hair dryer. Oh, wait, here's one. Whose hair dryer is it? Is it yours or mine? Oh, it's mine. The one with the little blue square on it is yours. It's usually in the bathroom. I can't find it. 
I think I left it at the gym. Uh, I really hate to ask this. <laughs> okay, do you want me to repeat the audio? Or do you have all the answers? Mm, I think for me it's okay. Uh, I didn't catch the third one, but I guess we could continue. Well, you can uh, listen to the conversations or the audios twice. Okay. Let me find. Let me see. If I Page eight. It. But can I ask you a favor? Two. Okay. Hey, Sally. My parents are. That's okay. We don't have to have salad. Do we have any sodas? Um, yeah. What time is it? It's six thirty. Oh, our j oh. three. So, are Jack and Bill coming over tonight to watch the game? Yeah, I'm making a big pot of spaghetti and meatballs. Mmm, it smells good. And I want to make some garlic bread, and we need some salad. We don't have any. Oh, that's okay. We don't have to have salad. Do we have any sodas? Um, yeah. What time is it? It's 6.30. Already? Well, could you do me a favor? Sure. What is it? Okay. What about now, Leo? Uh, I mean, I, I understand everything, but I don't know what's the problem. <laughs> oh, well, because in this case, these is like a Probably small the time. Problem. I'm not sure about it. Yeah. No, it's not about the time. Okay. We're going to discuss it in a moment. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, what about number one? What's the problem in the first conversation? The, the friend of, I, I don't remember his name, but well, he was cleaning up all the entire apartment, but he took to the trash the cushions. Yes. But cushions. it was from her grandmother, so. Yeah, exactly, excellent. Excellent. Okay. What about next conversation? What's the problem? Their place is a mess. They have papers on all the floor, I believe. Okay. okay. And books. Okay. That perfect, Leo. Excellent. What about number three? And I think Uriel can help us with this one. Oh, well, I think that the, this man wants to prepare spaghetti with meatballs and garlic bread and salad. But I think that he has not enough time. So maybe he's going to ask if his friend could help him to prepare the, the meals. I think so, but I'm not sure. Okay, well, is it just the salad? Because okay. he said he already cooked the spaghetti and the meatballs, okay? but the problem is there is no uh, salad. And the other guy said that they, they don't need they salad. Don't need yeah, they don't need it. Okay. What about the last conversation? Uh, one of the girls lost her hair dryer. Yes, exactly. exactly. Excellent. Excellent, guys. Okay, well, now that you um, listened, to all these conversations. Can you guess what favors each person is going to ask?
for example. Uh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat yeah. the question? Yeah. Can you guess what favors each person is going to ask? Because at the end of each conversation, we could hear something that they were going to ask, but they didn't finish I mean, the questions. Yes. So can you guess before we play the audio? Uh, yeah, I think so. Can you tell me what do you think they are going to ask? Uh, first one, maybe, can you go to search it or find them, the cushions? Cushions, yes. It's a funny word, cushions. <laughs> cushions, yeah. Okay. Sounds like squish or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let's listen to to it. Okay. And you need to complete the sentences, of course, according to what the, to what they ask. And you also have to listen if the roommates agree or don't agree. Okay. Okay. If they say yes or they say no. Here we go. Page 81. Three. Listening and strategies. Okay. Can you hear the audio? Yep. yep. Yeah, do it. Could you do me a favor? B. Can you guess what favors each person is going to ask? Listen and complete the sentences. Do their roommates agree? Check the boxes. 1. Hey, Bill, thanks for cleaning the apartment. Everything looks great. The kitchen, the living room, they look so clean. Oh, sure, no problem. Wow, you even did the laundry and took out the trash. Well, thanks. I mean, the place was a mess, I have to say. Yeah, it looks better now, huh? And I put those awful old cushions in the trash. You know, the smelly ones. Oh, and that big old clock, too. It didn't work. Wow, a big spring cleaning. Oh, wait. Which cushions do you mean? Those small round ones. They were old and... Oh, no. I got those from my grandma when I was little. Really? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Uh, well, uh, I can go and get them from the trash, okay? But can I ask you a favor? Can you keep them in your room? Um, I guess... So, you don't like them? <laughs> Two. Hey, Sally. My parents are coming over this afternoon. They want to see the new furniture in our living room. I told them we have a new sofa and armchairs and everything. Oh, okay. No problem. Yeah, but the whole place is a bit of a mess. Like, there's stuff all over the floor. Whose books and papers are these? Oh, they're mine. Sorry, I'm studying for a test tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, would you mind putting them in your room before they come? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It shouldn't take long. Three. So, are Jack and Bill coming over tonight to watch the game? Yeah, I'm making a big pot of spaghetti and meatballs. Mmm, it smells good. And I want to make some garlic bread. And we need some salad. We don't have any. Oh, that's okay. We don't have to have salad. Do we have any sodas? Um, yeah. What time is it? It's 6.30. Already? Well, could you do me a favor? Sure. What is it? Could you make the garlic bread? And I can run to the store and get some salad. Um, well, 
Actually, maybe I can go and get the salad. 4. So, what time is it now? Let's see. It's about 20 after 4. 20 after 4? Uh-oh, I'm running late. I have to catch a train at 5. So, do you have everything for your trip? Yeah, but I can't find my hair dryer. Oh, wait, here's one. Whose hair dryer is it? Is it yours or mine? Oh, it's mine. The one with the little blue square on it is yours. It's usually in the bathroom. I can't find it. I think I left it at the gym. Uh, I really hate to ask this, but do you mind if I borrow your hairdryer just for a few days? Actually, I'd like to say yes, but I really need it. I mean, I use it every day, so... Okay, do you need to listen again, or is it clear? I think it's okay. Okay, perfect. Uriel? Yeah, me too. It's clear all. Okay. Well, then let's uh, check and discuss the answers. What about number one? Can you? Uh, it was something like, can you have them with you in your room? Something like that. Yes, yeah, something like that. Can you have them with you in your room? Okay, that that sounds okay. Leo, do you have like the exact answer? I listen. Uh, can you keep them in your room? Yeah. And he was agree, kind of. <laughs> yes, he agree. Okay. okay. We say, I agree. We don't say, I am agree. Okay. Yeah. Can you keep them in your room? Yeah. And, well, he agrees. What about number two? Uh, would you mind putting them in your room? Exactly. Fine. Putting them in your room. And what does the roomie said? Uh, agrees too. Yes, agrees. Here we have the answer. Can you see the answers? Yes. Yep. Okay. What about number three? Could you make the garlic bread? Yes. And he wasn't agree. Yeah. Exactly. He said no, he didn't agree. Well, doesn't agree. Perfect. What about last one? Uh, oh. Do you mind if I borrow your hair dryer? And she doesn't agree. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Questions about this, guys? No, no questions, Carol. Okay. Perfect. Well, now let's go to the part in which you have to talk. Okay. Well, we're going to continue working a few minutes with these, how to ask polite questions and how to answer as well in a polite way. Look at these exercises. It says here, imagine you're visiting your partner's home. Okay. Uh, I don't know, Uriel. Imagine that you're going to visit Leo and Leo saying case, imagine that you're gonna visit Uriel. You need to take turns asking permission to do these things. And of course, agreeing or saying yes to those questions. Okay. 
what I want you to do is to make questions with these. Here we have an example with the first one. Do you mind if I make a quick call? Okay. And how do we respond to that kind of questions? No, go ahead. Okay. Remember something that usually when we have a question, we can, we could, we answer yes, and then we say sure, okay, no problem. But when we have a question with mind, as you can see here, do you mind, would you mind? First, we say no, and then uh, go, no problem. Okay. It doesn't mean that we said no. It's how we how we answer to the kind of question. Okay. Checking la diferencia, por ejemplo, aquí. Puedo ver. Sí, claro, adelante. Y aquí, ¿te importa si sí. sí veo? Y aquí están diciendo, ah, no, como no hay problema. Adelante. Esa es como la diferencia entre respuestas. Pero es el único detalle. ¿Ok? Ok. Well, now let's try to do the questions. Ok. Let's start with Uriel. Okay. What about three questions? Okay. Make three questions. What would you ask if you were at Leo's home or house? Okay. Um, Leonel. Um, do you mind if I use your bathroom to wash my hands? Okay, excellent. I have to answer, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, now go ahead. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, thank you. And could I get a glass of water? I'm feeling a little bit. Uh, I forgot the word for sediento. Um, thirsty. 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 Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Uh, I, I forgot how do you start the. Yes. The question. When when you have a, a question with can or with could, you answer with yes. Uh, yes, no problem. Okay, perfect. <laughs> oh, thank you. And I almost have no water on my phone, so can I charge my phone? Yeah, sure. Th thank you. Okay, excellent. Now, Leo, it's your turn. Uh I'm hungry. Do you mind if I take a cookie? No, please. Take all you want. Uh, also, it's kind of hot here. Uh, can I open a window? Yeah, sure. Open it. Uh... The one with the call, it's already on the example, so. No problem. <laughs> okay, uh, do you mind if I make a quick call? <laughs> no, not at all, take your time, please. Okay, excellent. I, I like how you add more words and phrases, Uriel. I like that. Okay. Well, I know that this can be like a real conversation because it's like very bookish, you know, the term like 
mucho, cosas mucho de libros y, y entonces es, es este, un poquito como, como robótico el asunto. But thank you for trying. And we're gonna do uh, um, another activity, but please, I'm gonna stop share, leave the meeting and come back so we can finish the class, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, where is Uriel? I forgot to enter again. <laughs> <laughs> or he ran away. Oh. Yeah, could it be? Okay. Am I already recording? Yeah. I am recording the session already, so let's continue. Okay, we're gonna um, go back a little bit. Remember when we, I don't, I don't remember if you were here, but when we talk about, about the house, rooms in a in a house the things the furniture yep. yes well we're gonna kind of continue working with that but now i want you to tell me about your home habits no and well if you don't understand you will <laughs> because we're gonna read a blog okay and you will understand what i'm talking about but before we do this i want you to help me with this exercise you need to choose a word to make statements true for you okay For example, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer the first one. My kitchen is very organized or disorganized. Well, I would say that my kitchen is organized, not very, but it, it is organized. I try to to keep it that way. Okay. What about um, Leo? Tell oh. me about the dishes. <laughs> uh, dishes It's going to yeah. be really interesting. <laughs> uh, I wash dishes by hand. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, it's kind of hard because me and my wife are very different. Uh, for example, in, in the example of the, of the kitchen, I yes. feel that my kitchen is very, well, not very, just disorganized. Uh -huh. But she... She thinks it's organized, so. <laughs> oh, I think I kind of understand what they're saying. Yeah, and it's 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 kind of the same uh, with the dishes. I try to I try to wash them uh, uh, in, I mean, just just when we use them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And she doesn't, so. Yeah, right after you use them. Yep, right okay. after. Okay. But yeah, we, we wash them by hand. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm like you, Leo. 
Yeah, I also try to do it like that. That way. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, what about Uriel? Tell me about the ironing. Uh, well, in my case, I iron some of my clothes. And well, doing home office, to be honest, I don't find it too necessary. Just when maybe I am going to go out or if I have to go to the office, well, it's very necessary. And also because, well, I like to use t-shirts. So I think this oh, one's yeah. necessary to iron them. Of course. But maybe other clouds, I don't think that it's too necessary. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you got a point there, of course. Okay, what about the last one? In my case, I threw out the used food containers. Do you know what is the meaning of these food containers? Uh, I understand that it's like the, um, well, in Spanish, like el topper donde se guarda la comida. Mm, no? Not Pero... like that. It's like the, the box, the pizza box, no, a bottle. A plastic bottle. Yeah, exactly. For example, the yogurt. Where is where is the yogurt? But yeah. some people used to save them. Yeah, that. Or the ice cream. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> for the beans. You know, exactly. <laughs> for the frijoles. <laughs> okay. Well, you uh, you don't save them. Okay. No, I threw out. Okay, well, you throw out. Perfect. What about you, Leo? Do you use them uh, or not? I save the ones that are uh, glass. Glass. Oh, okay. Ma yeah, made of glass. Okay. Yep. Oh, okay. But some of them. Okay. Excellent. Well. Continue working with these. We're gonna read uh, this uh, comments on the website, as I told you. And we're gonna discuss the habits that these people have and which do you think are unusual. And as we are reading, I want you to try to think if you have like an unusual uh, home habit. Okay. Well, who wants to start reading? Please don't forget the title. Uh, I, I can start. Okay, with Martin, perfect. Okay, uh, do you have an unusual home habit? Uh, the little, I mean, be all favorites is, isn't necessary, right? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. uh, well, my best friend has a very disorganized kitchen, but you should see mine. As soon as I come back from grocery shopping, I organize everything. First, I arrange the cans so the vegetables are in one section and the canned fruit is in another, in another section. Next, I sort them by size so the big ones are the back and the small ones are at the front. Then I make sure I can see all the labels. Okay. I would love to have that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't have a lot of, of, uh, of canned stuff. Just like one or two of tuna. <laughs> okay. Um, Uriel, could you please read next a comment? Yeah, sure. Um, okay. Charlotte, we have a brand new expensive dishwasher dishwasher sorry but i hate it i don't think it washes very well my friend says hers is great but mine always leaves the glasses dirty so i always wash the dishes by hand before i load them in the dishwasher then after i take them out i rinse them 
again to make sure they are clean. It drives my husband crazy. <laughs> okay. I like to have a dishwasher, but I'm not that rich. <laughs> okay, Leo, it's your uh, turn. Yep. My weird home habit, I iron everything, including my jeans. While I'm watching TV, I even iron my socks. My roommate, my roommate just stuffs her in a drawer, but I like to fold <laughs> everything too. I even iron the curtains in my bedroom every two weeks. I know it sounds crazy, but you iron yours too, right? Oh my God. I don't iron nothing. You won't me, me, me either. Okay, what about next one? <laughs> Look at the name. Manas no more. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, Uriel, please. Uh, yeah. Okay, I can help it. I save every small plastic takeout container, pizza box, cups from the coffee shop, salad cartoons, etc. My friend just throws all his in the trash, but I think that's a waste. You can use them for a lot of different things, like the big cardboard pizza boxes. We use ours during the summer for picnic trays. Okay, excellent. Well, now we're gonna answer some questions about this. But before, do you have a question about the vocabulary? No, I have no questions currently. I think it's okay. Okay, excellent, great. Well, let's discuss the questions. So let me make this a bit smaller. Okay. Well, uh, this time I want you to read the question and then answer it. Okay. Let's start with um, with Leo. Okay. Yep. Uh, how does Martin arrange the cans in his cupboards? Okay. Uh, he, uh, uh, he, I need to repeat it. He arranges mm, the cans. So the vegetables are in one section and the canned fruits are in another. Okay. And he mentioned something else. Oh, about the about the size, uh, yes. the the bigger ones are in uh, are in back, and the uh, little ones in the front. At the back, yes, um, yeah, and the small ones are at the front. Okay, Uriel, number two. Uh, why does Charlotte wash the dishes before she puts them in the dishwasher? Uh, because she feels that her dishwasher doesn't clean the glasses so well. So in that way, she preferred to do it by hand first. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, well, the dishwasher doesn't wash very well. Okay, what about number three, Leo? Uh, what does Lucia iron? She irons everything, everything. <laughs> yeah, everything and every day. <laughs> okay. You're gonna tell me about your habits in a moment. Uh, I told you, think about it. And <laughs> what about a number four? Uriel. Uh, what does Manas do with the containers he saves? Uh, he recycles them. He uses for other things then. For different things, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't think that's like something very weird, but 
I want you to tell me who wants to to go uh, first. Leo, Uriel. What weird or unusual habits do you have or your family? Mm. For example, in my case, maybe it's not like a weird, but it's kind of similar to what Charlotte does. But before to put the, the dirty glasses, uh, dishes on the, uh, how do you say, the, the sink? Uh, yeah, the sink, thank you. Uh, I'd like to... I prefer to first uh, wash them just with some water and then just take them to wash it with, uh, later. Okay. Yeah, you kind of, of raise them. We have here the word. Uh, yep. Yeah, like enjuagar. Uh, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Yep. Um. Anything else? Mm. You, I think your it's... your mom, your a brother, a sister, you know, a friend. Mm, I don't remember something weird now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe you can think about it and tell us later. Uh, what about you, Leo? Uh, well, I'll, I like to, to have my things very organized. Mm -hmm. uh, like very. <laughs> uh, for example, on my clothes, I uh, also I don't I don't want to have a lot of things because I think uh, that could be a potential mess. So I only have like black t-shirts and I put them all in in a way that I can see all my kind of seven shirts. Uh, and it's kind of the same for my for my for all my outfits. Okay. Uh, and, and, and kind of the same for, for all my life. Uh, for example, in my desk, I have like little boxes when I put things and try to be organized with, with everything. And, and a site told you my wife is very different so we we doesn't agree very much on that stuff <laughs> okay you don't agree um yes, yes. you are you the kind of person that cleans everything i try to okay and what about your children uh, do you teach them how to do things? Yeah, I mean, uh, for example, with their toys, uh, they every day make a mess. But I try to, before they go to sleep, to, to try to organize their toys too. But it's very difficult, especially with the little one. How old is... Here she, okay. she, she, okay. Oh, well, yeah, I understand. Yeah, the same happens here with my daughter. Well, she's four and a half, but she also um, <laughs> makes a mess. Of course, all little kids are like, like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, thank you for sharing, Uriel. Uh, still can't remember anything? Um, I was thinking about I'm not sure 
Uh, my mom, yeah, she's the kind of person who likes to have everything cleaned all the time. So she's the kind of person who is like always looking that every detail is clean. So yeah, I, I just cool thing about that, that she's looking every time everywhere to look what's disorganized to put it on her its place. Well, moms are that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> okay. Well, talking about your habits and stuff, I want you to share a bit about your, especially your evening routine. I know that with the pandemic and stuff, now it's different, okay, but uh, I want you to tell me, okay, what do you do before you have a dinner? We won't answer this one, what do you do as soon as you get home, because I know that you work from home. So, what about this one? What do you do before you have dinner, Uriel? Well, I take my time to rest a little bit because then I have to prepare my meals. So before to have the dinner, uh, yeah, just take a, a breath and then I can start to cook and yeah, then to take the dinner. Okay. Well, tell me, what do you usually have for dinner? For dinner, well... I like the easy things to prepare. So sometimes I have just like chicken uh, in the fridge. So I can just uh, do something with the chicken or maybe tuna if I'm too um, lazy that day. Okay. Okay. Um, excellent. Well, now, Leo, tell me, what do you do before you have dinner? What's your routine? Uh, I usually take my kids to take a shower and uh, help them to, to clean their room. Uh, also, I try to, to I don't know, uh, try and to help with the with the home like uh, wash the dishes uh, maybe clean the clean the kitchens uh, uh, I don't know how it, if it's correct to say uh, fold the clothes how, how do you say that I mean when when you when the clothes are clean and you put them in the right place like fold doblar yeah fold it's okay okay yeah uh yeah uh, because i i'm very bad at making uh things to eat <laughs> oh uh, i i don't know how to cook anything yeah say it i don't like yeah. to cook. <laughs> <laughs> so so i try to help with the other things on the home okay that's great actually okay last question what do you do while you are eating? And I know that here the answers are going to be different because I know that Leo have children and probably Will, you don't have any children, right? Yeah, I know. I have no children. So this is different. Tell me, Uriel, what do you do while you're eating? Um, if I'm eating with my family, well, we usually try to chat uh, with, between us okay. so yeah we're eating and just chatting or sometimes like the mm, yeah the dinner is in front of the living room uh, so sometimes we can watch a movie at the time 
or just watch TV at the same time. But yeah, that's what we do. Okay, great, thank you. What about Leo? I usually, I usually watch TV while eating. Uh, and usually, uh, I mean, from Monday to, to Friday, it's just with my wife. Uh, we try to to uh, take the kids to sleep before we eat, and okay. I mean, in the night, so so we can watch TV in peace. <laughs> Okay, that's great. I can't do the same. My daughter, my daughter is like very active. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for sharing uh, some uh, details about your routines. Okay, we're gonna stop here because it's already. Yeah. 9.30 so I'll see you next week have an excellent weekend have a rest and see you okay. thank you for coming thanks Carol see you. thank you Carol. see you have a nice Bye. weekend thank you you too see you Bye. thanks